Welcome back everyone, Garland here bringing you another Neverwinter video. And today's video is the recap for the Driftwood Tavern that was on Wednesday, July 10th, 2019. So whenever this video gets published and live, it could be a few days later. Uh, this was an official Q&A with lead developer and designer Thomas Foss. So a short little video today, let's just run down through the highlights and recap the hour-long stream. As always, there will be a link in the description to the entire past broadcast if you want to watch all one hour of it. So jumping right in, if you guys haven't heard yet, of course Mod 17 was announced. It's going to be titled Uprising, and it's going to be a continuation of the Undermountain. It has a pending release date for the PC on August 13th, console will come later some next streams coming up is going to be july 16th with Terramac tuesday followed by july 23rd which is going to be a summer festival stream they talked about the new race for a little bit and any sort of confusion so the new race that is coming in the game is the gith i did just put out a video review on it so make sure you go back and watch that so the gift is going to be free for VIP members for the first two weeks of launch. After that, it's going to be free for another two weeks for everyone. So if you have VIP, you have four weeks to get a gift. Otherwise, after the four weeks have expired, guys, the gift will be locked behind a paywall via the Zen Market. They're going to put the race in a pack. Uh, and you're going to have to pay for it. So any new players coming into the game after those four weeks are going to have to pay for the Gith race. So if you want the Gith race, make sure you log in when Mod 17 launches. You'll have four weeks if you're a VIP player to unlock that for your account. Thomas made it very clear that there will be no free race reroll tokens for anyone. Uh, you know, if you do want to re-roll to a gift, you're going to have to pay for the token. There will be a crafting update in Mod 17, but there won't be any master crafting. So, we did get the level increase in Mod 16 to level 80. Well, there's no level 80 recipes. So, in Mod 17, they're going to remedy that. There will be level 80 recipes. However, like I said, there's no updates to Master Crafting at this time. In Mod 17, there won't be any new boon points. So I don't even think we're getting an extended campaign for Undermountain or a continuation. Or if it is a campaign, there isn't going to be any more boon points coming in Mod 17. Also, not included in Mod 17, is there won't be any Stronghold updates. A question was asked during the stream what the next Tells of Old is going to be, and they revealed that it is going to be Dread Vault. Uh, this is, you know, a lot of veteran players' favorite dungeons. Uh, everybody loved Dread Vault. Um, and it has a pending release date of August 29th for PC. And no release date yet for console. Then to wrap up the stream, they basically talked about the new trial. So the new trial coming in Mod 17, of course, we're not getting a new dungeon. We're getting a new 10-man trial. Uh, and from everything that I've been told and what they discussed, uh, this is going to be the hardest content that they've ever released. Um, it has a 24,000 item level public queue. And if you private queue for it, it's going to be 23,000 item level. And like I mentioned, it is very, very hard, guys. Uh, everything that I've been told from the uh, preview testers, the beta testers, um, it's very, very difficult. Uh, Cryptic even expects maybe only 1 to 5% of the overall game population um, is going to be able to complete the trial. So this is something that we've asked for for a very long time. We asked for challenging content, and they're actually delivering on it. So I'm very eager 
to you know see more of this trial pc players obviously are going to get to go at it first and when it eventually trickles down to console um i can't wait you know i'm actually very excited uh it's been a very long time since i've been excited about anything regarding neverwinter but from everything that i've been told so far uh the new trial is going to be actually challenging um, I don't know if it's going to be fun. I'm sure it's going to be frustrating, uh, but that's what we want. We don't want to steamroll content anymore as far as end game content. Now, I've been quoted numerous times saying, you know, I don't care if we steamroll past content, right? I'm okay with that, you know, uh, but end game content, give us something challenging and make sure the, rewar the rewards are worthwhile. So, in the upcoming videos that I'll be publishing, we'll go through all of those said rewards. Uh, there's a lot of new stuff coming in Mod 17, including companion gear, new legendary rings, uh, as well as new armor. Um, along those lines, the new stat caps have increased, so all your offensive stats are now going to need to be 80,000, and your combat advantage needs to be 130,000 for the new trow. So... Getting to those stat caps is going to be very difficult. Um, and once you do that, like I said, the trial, like I said, again, has been... <laughs> uh, the rumor is, is that it's very hard, guys. Uh, as of filming this video right now on Preview Server, no one has finished it yet. Um, right now, they've got it down to about 30% on Phase 3. And there's four phases total. It's a 100% single mob encounter so it's a single target encounter there's no ads or anything but apparently there's like 25 different mechanics uh that you have to get through and learn so yeah pretty excited about that uh more details will be coming and that's pretty much the end so if you guys have any questions uh this was again just a recap video of the hour-long stream that they did on july 10th uh the link will be in the description so if you have any questions, go ahead and leave me a comment below and I will see you guys in the next video.